Hey, welcome back. As we all get older, we may be looking for ways to enhance our physical, emotional, and social well-being. Well, that is the exact topic for the third annual conference on successful aging. Lee Ryan and LaDawn Sawyer are here to tell us about the day-long event. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. And so the uh, conference that we're doing, we have a theme this year. Kind of tell me about the theme, Lee. The theme this year is balance and finding balance in your life. And the reason that we've picked that is because um, our research is telling us that this is really the, the key to keeping our brains healthy and maintaining our memory and, and other abilities. You know, a lot of people will, uh, will tell you that exercise is the thing you have to do or uh, crossword puzzles or taking a particular supplement. But what we know now is that uh, focusing on a, a whole range of things, on physical health, on uh, cognitive engagement, uh, being socially connected, finding meaning in your life, all of those things are equally important. And so we want to get that message out there to uh, help people to know how important it is to um, engage in activities that kind of enhance all of those aspects of our lives. Well, I think one of those aspects is staying connected with the community, right? And that's one of the topics that you'll be discussing. So how, tell us a little bit about that and why it's so important to aging. Well, that um, topic on connectedness, it really is at the core of healthy aging. And the session that I'm going to be presenting with one of my fabulous volunteers is on connecting through service. So volunteer opportunities, finding the right fit, finding out what really works for you and then what works for the community. So we're going to have some real practical tips and tools for locating resources, making yourself um, in a position where you're really able to give back and be engaged in meaningful activities. Well, and, and I love that we're covering that topic. Maybe something someone didn't really think about. I, I, that's what I kind of see when I think about that topic is, you know what, I didn't even really think about that as, you know, as time goes on. And you were kind of hitting on we want to be balanced, cover a lot of things. So we're also going to be talking about being mentally fit. And you had also said something about crosswords and, you know, games of that sort. Is that really something that's going to help, you know, keep us mentally to, you know, right. kind of sharp, I guess? You know, there's been so much research on these kind of brain games and these software packages that you can buy and some of them are really expensive but the truth is that there's really no scientific evidence that they they really help in maintaining our memory as we get older mm. um, and some of them will actually say that you, it'll give you better memory actually um, that's not to say that uh, mental activity isn't important but what we're going to be talking about at the conference is the idea of becoming a lifelong learner so being engaged throughout your whole life in learning new information and becoming involved in new skills and that seems to be something that really does help to maintain our brain health as we as we get older well and I'm a huge nerd and technology <laughs> these days makes it that much easier I mean people should be encouraged to adopt iPads to adopt computers and they'll be able to use software that way now Ladon how did TMC get involved with this well as Lee was just saying um, the piece about lifelong learning and education is so important so when Lee came to Tucson Medical Center three years ago yeah. and said would you like to partner with this event um, we jumped at it because we have been providing community education and wellness as well as health care in the community um, for 70 years now we just had a birthday 70th birthday so it really makes sense that we're involved <laughs> and uh, we often see every day in our classes and education that we provide throughout TMC for seniors programming we see the benefits now Lee and her group come in and they show the science behind it so it's a it's really a, a good a fit really for us great to partner. partnership yeah so it was like of course we go together absolutely uh, and I know uh, we're talking about successful aging so I'm assuming this would be beneficial for anyone but who is the ideal person that would benefit from this conference really anyone who's interested in knowing more about aging for personal reasons but also people who are working with older adults in the community or in business your family members mm -hmm. Uh, I think that a lot of people would, would benefit from coming <coughs> to, the, to the conference. Well, and it, how do people sign up for it, and is there a cost associated with it? There is a cost. It's a full-day event, so there's mm -hmm. breakfast and lunch and all the events in between and the talks. Um, you can uh, sign up through our uh, website, which I think that you're going to show people, yes. and are. also call our office, and, and uh, the, the cost is $50 for the entire day, so um, it's not exorbitant. and uh, and 
you can just find out more information on the website. Well, I, I think it's so many important topics you guys are bringing light to, and we want to thank you so much for coming on and sharing it with us You're today. You're very welcome. Thank, thank you, you for you having soon. us. The third annual conference on successful aging will be at the Doubletree Hotel Reed Park on February 20th from 7.30 to a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, you can call 621-5213 or log on to psychology.arizona.edu. acosa.